Hi, good morning, welcome, welcome to the channel. Today we're in the uh, lovely Derbyshire Peak District, we're up bright and early and I'm on my fantastic MT10. Now it's come to a bit of a milestone this bike has. It's three years old, It'll be three years old in a, in a few days time and I've clocked up, I've just, just checked, I've done 19,000 miles, 19,000 fantastic miles on this great bike. And the people that know me are quite surprised that I've still got this bike after three years, because I have been a, been a bit of a serial changer. I've had quite a few bikes over the years, but this has been the first bike I've wanted to hang on to that I love so much. This bike has took us to some great places and I do use the bike as a touring bike. I know lots of people buy them for a, a flash, fast blast but uh, for me this does everything. Soon after uh, I had it we took it to the Isle of Man to the classic TT blasting up over the mountain twice to Scotland, done some fantastic touring up, up, up the west coast. Let's see if we are on a single track uh, single track road here. You just gotta have your wits about you a bit. We've camped with it and uh, we've we've done hotel tours up there. See if I can pull in here, look, let's have a look at this view up here. Oh. How about that guys? This is Monsal Head, and this is my MT10, 2016 machine, like I say I've just had it three years now, it's one of the uh, first bikes in the UK, um, I know there's a few that's had them uh, about a month before me but uh, I absolutely love the machine. I mean, it's still fairly original. I've done no performance mods to it at all. Still got the cat on it. I did have the quick shifter fitted because that wasn't an original fitment at the time. But I think the newer bikes are coming with them. And that is absolutely superb I love it it's only up and uh, I think you can have uh, aftermarket ones that will blip it to uh, blip it down through the gears as well so uh, really really recommend a quick shifter on these it just works so well with the bike <laughs> but anyway I was saying some of the places we've we've been on the bike we've done Scotland tours um, We've took it down through France, and we've gone over to the we've gone over to the Alps, and uh, some of the fantastic roads up there.
year we headed down towards the Pyrenees and uh, we headed down towards Carcassen, riding some of the brilliant roads there. Road over the Millau Bridge. Rode it down through the gorge under the Millau Bridge. Here's my bit of half. <laughs> so, um, yes, absolutely love the bike. Still love it. I mean, you can see some of the touring mods that we've done. I mean, I've obviously got my, uh, obviously got my tank bag on it, and uh, we've got the SW Motec Blaze Pannier system, which you'll see magically appear. I've had the SW Motec rack and top plate put on. It's actually a Givy top plate, and uh, it's a Givy uh, Givy box. But I've uh, not fitted that today. Don't need it. Just for a little outing up into the uh, into the uh, hills here. So what else have we had fitted to it? I've had a, uh, a sat nav. Uh, that's fully wired in uh, and that's about it really so other than that kept it standard I've not done what a lot of the lads have done and uh, had it remapped um, I'm really happy with it as it is I know you can smooth the throttle out on it uh, if you do have it remapped and uh, I don't blame the people that do I've just concentrated my time on spending the money on petrol and I did have a quick a quick workout in those 19,000 miles I think I've burnt over 3,000 quids worth of uh, of petrol in this bike which is quite a lot but oh, just just the performance of it though it's worth it it is it is, it is an amazing bike to ride I don't think there's many more fun bikes around than an MT-10. It's so comfy for a guy my size. I'm six foot three, 18 stone, and uh, I have no problems with all day comfort on this bike. Nice wide seat for a big backside. I've ridden all those 19,000 miles on the stock seat. Now somebody that's perhaps a bit bonier will appreciate the comfort seat and uh, I've heard good reports about the comfort seat I mean the actual seat itself the fitting of it I mean, this, this is actually the second seat because I had one that bled a bit of water in and when you sat on it it came out those seams there but that is the only issue I've had with the bike the seat and it still rocks around I mean you can wash them out and and do that that when when it was new the new seat that they gave me as a replacement it didn't rock around for a while but obviously when you sit on it and, and use it it just compresses the rubbers under the seat and but minor as far as I'm concerned it doesn't bother me now it does have a few minor war wounds and marks from being used I mean uh, being a numpty I didn't put the plastic protection film on where the uh, blaze panniers go and uh, mark them up there and the wheels there are a few nicks around on the yellow wheels where I've had tyre changes when I mean, I've gone through five five rears now I think it's five We're losing count now anyway and uh, there are a few videos on my channel about the 
uh, the Road 5s I've got on there. I'm really pleased with those, so uh, I'm going to keep those on for the time being. But uh, yeah, the the paintwork on the uh, on takes on keeping clean. I mean, I cleaned them all yesterday again, and I've only come what uh, I don't know, probably about 50 miles this morning. They're already filthy. So uh, whether you whether you go for the bike with the yellow wheels, it's up to you. But uh, I think black wheels are a lot easier to maintain. Um, I've just had it serviced and uh, it's not the valve service that's the next one but I had a lot of work done I've had a a new chain and sprocket fitted this time that's brand new I just thought we'd get into that sort of distance and we've got another big trip down into Spain for later on this year so I just wanted it spot on and I didn't want to end up paying for a chain and sprocket kit and having the valve service next time so I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it you know, I may just keep it forever to be honest with you it's one of those bikes that I love so much like I say I've had apart from the seat no issues that engine is just glorious it, it's, it's got to be one of the best inventions ever the noise it makes just the way it pulls, the way it accelerates. You accelerate hard with that quick shifter. Very, very, very few things are gonna keep with you. You just gotta hang on. And that front end is wafting in the air in the first three gears. I mean, it is an absolute lunatic bike. If you wanna ride it that way. I enjoy having the power. I enjoy taking my time on it as well. I take care of it because somehow I don't want to wreck it and I don't want to lose my license and losing your license is something that's easily done with one of these things very very easy to go very quickly and it kind of encourages you to ride like a bit of a loon really especially when I'm out on my own that's why I do a lot of riding with my wife because she's sensible and uh, I go a lot a lot steadier when I'm riding with her so nothing to report bad about this bike I haven't altered the brakes I've altered nothing and well, we've got to nearly 20,000 miles on it no problems and for I mean it's still a performance engine I, th I just think it shows Yamaha's reliability. It's a fabulous, fabulous bike. And I'd highly recommend them to anybody. The only problem... That's well, not really a problem. It's, it's an issue with range. And uh, range is a problem especially doing the sort of thing I'm doing which is a lot of touring you get into 90 miles and you're thinking I need petrol it's just a 17 litre tank for me the bike would be that much better if it was a 19 or a 20 litre tank to just give you more range I know the fuel consumption's bad but you're paying you're paying a price for for 150 160 horsepower and for me I'm prepared to put up with that it's still on par with the uh, Aprilia Tuono they drink it as well and uh, some of the other big super nakeds so uh, I'd just I'd just be happy with a bigger fuel tank but apart from consumption and range this has got to be the perfect bike for me anyway the perfect all-round if you're gonna have one bike if you're gonna have a bike a performance bike that will tour that'll do just about everything that's all day comfortable for a big guy this is the bike highly highly recommend it I love this bike I'm pretty sure it's a keeper anyway thanks for checking in the channel like I say three years old Still love it. 
hopefully this time next year I'll be doing a four year review but no problems to report fantastic bike see you all again cheers